Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Greg and this is Puddle Walkers Outdoors. guys i'm out here today at my local creek i just came out here to fish and i was uh, hoping to make a top water just an explosive big bass video but that was not the case guys the water conditions were perfect for what i needed in order to get the top water bite but they just would not respond so eventually guys i put on a rooster tail i walked myself out i landed two really nice fish i landed a few rock bass here and there I ended up breaking off with the rooster tail on another fish at another creek that I finished off at and then I switched to a Ned and then I smashed up monster fish guys. Stay tuned, this is going to be good. Oh, here we go. Finally, guys, <laughs> rooster tail made all the difference. Look at that. He ain't have him hooked on there anymore. Not a bad fish. I actually think this is the same one that Kevin caught whenever he came back here with me. Got some sore on his lips. Oh, there we go, guys. There we go. Let's get him up out of here. There we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. Holy tar. Holy tar. Oh. There we go. Boy, he came out of nowhere. There we go, guys. That's a pretty good log on a rooster tail. We're gonna get this guy up out here and see if we can't find some more. All right, guys, stay tuned. Find you. All right, guys. Two smallmouth on the morning so far. Two good smallmouth on the morning so far. I've caught a couple more on the rooster tail, and I did actually catch two on the whopper plopper. I think they were actually rock bass. I'm not for sure. I have to look back on the film. So, question: Did you expect the rooster tail to outfish the whopper plopper in the morning stretch? Let me know in the comments below. There you go. Good fighter. Good fighter. That's a good fighter. Another one, guys. Another little guy. About in that 10, 12 inch range. Going up out here, buddy. Had a good fight in him, though. Really good fight. Try to net him. Did he go? I can't believe that. There he is, right there. My 
rooster tail still in his mouth. He's not bad. Sucks. Oh god, dude. He wasn't even that big. He was about 14 inches maybe. Maybe 15, I don't know. He didn't look real big. I got a good look at him. That's what I get. Not retying on. Oh, look at me. I hear like a jackass. Fishing line stuck all over the room. Ah. So mad I just lost my rooster tail. I bet we was gonna catch a toad in here today. Yeah, that one there wasn't bad. Let's get our Ned tied on here. Well, guys, I lost a decent fish. That was all on me. I forgot to retie on. Just out of this little hole. So I'm gonna Ned rig it the rest of the way out. See what else we can catch on a Nico Helgramite. I haven't found a Nico Helgramite in a little while. I just I just did the trout tickler video. Before that, I did 12 Oaks custom video. And before that, I think I had done a rooster tail video. I wanted to do another rooster tail video. I really like rooster tails, as you guys can see at the beginning of this video, it's done great for me. So that being said, we're gonna we're gonna move on, guys, and uh, see what we can't Ned. All right, thanks for sticking around. Oh. Feisty smallmouth. Didn't even notice him at first, guys, and he come up out of there like a rocket. First smallmouth on the Helgramite. It's a little guy, but man, he was he's fired up. Back in there, bro. <laughs> he picked it up a ways back there. I was like, wait a minute, I thought I was getting ready to be snagged. It's not a bad rock bass. Oh. oh. Oh, six incher. Woo. Chill out, bro. There we go. Get back in there, man. Not bad at all. And to work for him. There we go. Not bad. It's about 10, 12 inch. 10 12 inch smallmouth. He yeah, had put a pretty good fight. All right, let's let him slide on up out here. We're gonna do an underwater on him. We got a giant. Dude, we got a giant. Oh my god. Please don't come off. Please don't come off. Please, Lord, let me land this fish. Please, Lord, let me land this fish. Let me land this fish.
Oh my god. Oh. oh my god. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my lord. That's a giant, guys. That's a giant. Look at that fish, guys. That is a toad. Oh my god. I need to get a picture. And an underwater on this guy. Oh my god. Don't, don't you dare. I gotta catch my breath, guys, and then get a picture of this fish. This is an absolute beast! I don't know how good this lighting is, guys, but I can't get a good picture. <laughs> Just look at that fish, though, guys beautiful. Hmm. Let's get this fish out of here. Okay guys, I got that fish released. I just had to take a minute. I don't know how big that fish was, but that thing was huge. That was well over three pounds, guys. I, I don't know. That That's really close to the biggest smallmouth I've ever caught. I thought I had a PB. It definitely wasn't a 20 or 21, but that, that fish was somewhere between that 18 and 20 inch mark. That was just, that was worth walking back here for, guys. I can't believe it. I'm so scared, guys, whenever I hook into big fish with those Ned rigs because I've lost so many of them. I love using the Ned rig. It's fun catching fish 16 inches and below. But when you hook into a real giant, a real creek freak like that one right there, it's, it is so nerve-wracking. You, you start to pray to God like I was doing. I've just lost so many bass on the Ned rig that it just it scares me. It really scares me when I've got those little heads, but man, when the bite's really tough like this, guys, those heads are imperative. Having that little 10th ounce weight not hitting the water really hard, it keeps from spooking those freaks of nature's right there off. All right, guys, I'm gonna fish a little bit more. See you guys soon. All right, guys, I'm back where I started. I can't believe the bass I caught today. Can't believe how bad these mosquitoes are. They're eating me up. The rooster tail did me great at the first creek I went to. I lost it over here when I very first started in here. <laughs> but had I not put the hellgram right on, who knows? Maybe I wouldn't have caught that beast of a creek smiley back there. All right, guys, don't forget, man. Always keep a hellgramite, a Ned rig, and a rooster tail. A rooster tail is probably one of the most underutilized creek lures that there is guys it catches everything it really does and also it will catch big fish i mean it's not just a little fish a magnet although it will catch every little bitty size of fish all right guys thank you for watching see you on the next one